Students, listen very carefully. This sum is very important. Here we have x square minus 2xy plus y square. And here separately minus z square. We have to make this one in a way that it becomes a square of a number and we have minus z square. That is a square minus b square form. So if we just look at this particular expression, we can compare it with the expression that is a minus b the whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So if we compare here a is x and here b is y. So we can write this expression or this expression as a minus b the whole square where a is x and b is y. So we can write this as x minus y the whole square and we can write this minus z square as it is. I think it is clear to you. So I have rewritten everything. So hence in place of this we can write x minus y the whole square and minus z square as it is. Now if we look at this expression we can compare with the identity that is a square minus b square where a is x minus y and b is z. So we can write it as a plus b and a minus b. So here a is x minus y plus b that is z once and another one time x minus y that is a minus b that is minus z. So this is our final answer here.